There are so many transitions in DaVinci Resolve that are very, very clever. Um, a lot of them you won't use, but a lot of them you're going to find you use all the time. But there is so much choice to be had. Transitions are great for hiding cuts, also changing the tone of a video. So if you're talking about one subject and you want to start talking about another subject, you can use a transition to show that change of time. Let's jump into DaVinci and I'll show you a lot of the transitions I like to use. Down here I've got a couple of clips. One is my ugly face and then it transfers to a pretty face. But it's quite jarring if you're watching it. So let's try and get some transitions going on. And how you do that is you go up to effects up here. And depending on how you've got your DaVinci set up, your effects tab will come down the bottom or it'll end up up the top here. Mine's down the bottom, obviously. So you're gonna click on the toolbox and go video transitions. And as you can see, there is heaps of transitions scrolling all the way down to the bottom. You literally can just Click on it and drag it and put it right on the join of that clip. If you don't like it, you can select it and just delete it. And you can grab a different one, like a cross dissolve one, for instance. You can delete that. And there is so many cool ones. There's smooth cut ones, which are quite good. And if you look at the icons, you get an idea of what they actually do. For instance, that one's like a cross. If you're not sure how the transition is going to work, you can hold your mouse. Just don't have to click anything. Just hold your mouse on the left and move it to the right, and you'll see the transition happening on the other screen. And it will do exactly what you think it's going to do. Barn door ones, for instance. Push. There's just so many here, it's not funny. There is just so many. This rotate one is great. I use this one on drone footage when I'm cutting from an aerial shot down to a ground shot because you can spin it and it's just so cool. I mean, this is a hell of a lot better than just having it jump into a picture of her. Another one of my favourites is this burn away one, which looks really cool. Have a play with all the transitions you want. You can make them longer and shorter, of course, if you want to. You've got full control over it. Just enjoy it and have some fun. If you're a beginner and you're new to DaVinci Resolve, then you're going to love this next video here, which is 36 shortcuts that you really have to know to make your life a lot easier. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.